Guys, we jump into another modern game with Aura Hexproof against a deck that I have no idea what it is. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to another modern gameplay video. We're having a good time with this, man. I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. This is a sketchy key, but we're going to try it try it i'm feeling risky guys uh we've been up against a lot of different decks over the last few days i've been kind of posting different matchups and that's kind of why uh we're we're kind of testing some things out here um but i'm loving it i have ooh, i absolutely love modern uh and so it's great to have the opportunity to play it here it's a, a format that i need to get better at is is kind of the way i'm looking at it so we're uh we're gonna do the best we can uh, looks like an Aether Vial deck. Definitely a little scary with the Ghost Quarter as well. We'll uh, we'll see what they're up to. The Glade Cover Scout. Um, yeah, sure. So I think we end up going this route because it's a little bit safer for sure. Um, they can obviously just go ahead and you know get our get our Horizon Canopy out of here, which does lose us a draw. Uh, but we can still go get a Green Source, so it's like up possibility for us to still kind of stabilize uh we do only have two basic lands in the deck worth noting <clears throat> urza saga huh okay interesting all right interesting interesting i'm very curious uh we have found ourselves against a lot of different decks so far and it's actually been a blast to uh to see what everything is uh or everybody's up to basically not something i get to do very often so again this is just super super cool Let's go ahead and get in with the uh, Daybreak Coronet here. Uh, this should outpower any one drop they might have. Uh, it also starts to gain us a little bit of life back, which is, I mean, not not hugely relevant yet because I don't know what they're doing, but uh, it could very well be. Any amount of buffer room is certainly gonna be good, so let's take the opportunity. Uh, one thing to note, I'm not just running Core Spirit Dancers out there yet. Uh, I feel like maybe I should, but I'm choosing not to. Uh, for a multitude of reasons. I just don't, I'd like to be able to kind of equip it up right away. Uh, we're not quite able to do that. So, I mean, <laughs> just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> uh, mine as well, I think. Uh, we can rebuild relatively quickly because we have another scout and a rancor in hand. Um, and so I'm kind of curious to see what they might have here. Sure, that's all fine. Uh, we still get the, uh, dan this is a, a chump block, I imagine. Yeah. It's fine by me. Don't really care about that. Uh, we still gain the life, so we are up to 30. Uh, again, just set a nice, comfortable life total. So what we're doing at this point is essentially buying ourselves as much time as we can until later in the game when we find ourselves maybe needing a little bit of that time. Um, and so this feels relatively comfy. Uh, still would have liked to have had that hit on them because that's a pretty powerful thing. Uh, or, I mean, we do have the Rancor, so we can actually give this Trample next turn anyway. That seems pretty relevant. Okay. Hollow Fountain untapped. I assume to equip? Oh, they lose Indestructible and Hexproof. Okay. Uh, what you got? This is bad. <laughs> Skyclave Apparition. Wow. Okay. Well done, opponent. Uh, that was really, really good. Uh, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> uh, okay. That's pretty helpful. Uh, worth noting, we don't want to get uh, the basic forest here because, again, uh, they can just get it with the... Uh, or we can just get it later on with the Ghost Order play that they clearly have. <laughs> Uh, we'll go ahead and pay one and equip this up. Again, this is part of that rebuilding process. We were giving ourselves a little bit of buffer. We still are not in great... Oh, man. That's really good. That's really, really good. At the very least, we do get to draw a card, though. Uh, which is something, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, I believe we don't get the Rancor back because it never hit the battlefield, so that's a little sad. But, uh, yeah. Not much we can do. Uh, the opponent definitely is outplaying us here, uh, which is, I mean, fine. It sucks, but it's fine. Uh, what do we need? I think it's weirdly like just seals and paths. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's dangerous for sure. Definitely all the seals. Uh, that seems really relevant. 
Um, yeah. Pro Creature seems good. So we do have some really relevant cards already in our deck that would be beneficial here. Uh, but we'll see. Land. Okay. Do we... Is it worth not giving them a card? Probably, to be honest. Uh, all right, let's do this. The only trick is they can still, of course, use this, but um, we have to take quite a bit of damage to do this, but... Oh, we have to pay two. Wow, I'm dumb anyway. That was so stupid. Uh, I was thinking it was just one. That was a mistake uh, on my end for sure. Yeah. Ooh, they're outplaying us for sure. <laughs> uh, it's all good. You know, again, this is a learning experience, guys. So we are not the best modern players. The goal is just to try and get better. Uh, and so this is totally fine. It's It sucks, but like, what can you do? Okay. Sure. Interesting. Uh, so they can now ghost quarter and kind of get us with that. Okay. Yeah, sure. So we're going to move the equipment over to the big 5-5, five five, which makes sense. So then this is going to get in for quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh... I mean, not much we're going to be able to do there. I'm not blocking it. We need to keep our thing around uh, because we really just need threats. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Uh, I'm going to equip this up here. We still get to draw a card off of this, which is good. Um, they get to draw a card here too, which is kind of bad. Do we want to pay the one? I'm going to say no. As much as I would love to say yes, I think we kind of have to keep our game plan in order here uh, and just draw a card. Okay. Now I'm wishing we had, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Potentially more. I think we do attack, though. The reality is this is going to just get stronger. Um, but they're gonna gain all the life back. Like, ugh, it's a terrible place to be. Um, I think they just have us here. We'll see what they end up playing this turn, but I, I think this is probably our last turn. Um, trying to think what we have in the sideboard that's super good. Obviously the seals, probably the path to exiles. We have to kind of side ourselves into a more like controlly ish matchup, which is not great. Um, does anything they have target us? Uh, if that player, whatever. Like, no, no. Uh, yeah. So Leyline's not very good here. Um, yep. Do we save ourselves? No, because they have trample anyway, and we need to draw badly. Um, that's not what we want. I'm going to start by doing this. Hopefully. They could Ghost Quarter in response just to kind of get us on lands, but it looks like they chose not to. Okay. Um, I think our best hope is to like try and draw a Rancor. Uh, no. We're letting them draw cards here. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and say always yes. Rift Spoon, huh? That's actually kind of relevant. Hmm. Okay. Maybe? <laughs> we have to deal 13. Do we think we can deal 13? 
Are we worried about what's in their hand? Definitely worried about what's in their hand. No doubt about that. But we do have flying now, so they can't block it. Oh, no. Do they just have the uh, Aether Vial <laughs> into Solitude? Dang it, man. All right, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Let's jump into sideboarding here. What do we have? Uh, definitely the seals are good. Uh, let's make sure we get all four of those. Uh, do we pass to exile? I think that's our only other consideration. Leyline's not good. I don't feel Gadok Teague is all that good. Yeah. Um... As much as I really love that, I don't think it's what we need here. Um, nope, not what I meant. Excuse me. I guess the spider umbras that we don't need. Uh, the umbras are not that good, uh, uh, sadly, because the solitude is their solution. So I think we just run it back like this. We'll see if this works, guys. Again, this is a tough matchup. I'll be honest. Um, Vant artifacts. Yeah, I would love to play first. And yeah, I will keep this. Um, this does not have a seal, uh, which isn't necessarily great for us, but we do have like a pretty just good opening hand here. So the, the goal is just to kind of outpace if we can. Um, hmm. Really trying to think through their game plan. Like what, what would they have here? There's the Aether Vial. Um, it's just like Bant junk. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do this. I know I'm running everything out here pretty quickly, but again, I think we're racing more so than anything else. And so I'm just going to try and deal as much as I can right off the bat. The, the good thing that we do have going for us is their like Skyclave Apparition plus uh, uh, the equipment thing. I can't remember the, the name, but uh, that's like a fairly mana intensive thing. Um, it's not like hugely mana intensive, but it's enough that it's like, okay, they can't just throw that at us right away. Now Aether Vial really helps trim down on that mana that they need, so that's scary. Um, but And a relic, huh? Hmm. What do we want here? Razor Verge Thicket is not bad. Um, we know we're going to pay it, so let's do it. And this does draw us a card, which is great. Uh, always, yes. I don't think there's a world where we're going to say no to that right now. Okay, um, draw another Boggle, which isn't exactly great. Really what we'd want now are just auras, but I mean, this is eight damage. This is a, uh, they are dead next turn, theoretically. <laughs> um, they can't just like Skyclave Apparition into the, uh, the scout right now. That's not gonna be feasible for them. And worst case scenario, we if they make us sacrifice something, I think we sack the the spirit dancer it's like azorius artifacts with like a they did have a horizon canopy so they definitely i assume have green in their deck i didn't really see a lot of green stuff but that's cool so they're just using that to draw a card uh this might be over quick though if that's what they're doing then that's fine turns out the flying was pr pretty relevant with the griff spoon um or is very relevant with the griff spoon Come on, let's get a win. Okay, yeah. Prismatic ending does shut down uh, the win. It slows it down. It's not a great solution, but it is a solution. So fair enough. Hyena Umbra, huh? Um, I think we just go for the, the high value play and try and just win it, right? Uh, Spirit Link, 
should be enough, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's sideboard again. I don't think we change anything, right? Uh, I'm trying to think what we could draw. Nah, I don't think we change anything. I'm just going to run it back. All right, guys, one and one. Let's see if we can do this against this weird, like, artifacts ish deck i don't really know what this is it's kind of a prison -y deck like it's got a lot of prison elements but it's also just got a lot of artifacts i don't know this is a terrible hand uh very land heavy definitely gonna throw that back um we can try it uh i think we throw a spirit mantle back and now we just have to hope for the best <laughs> uh yeah so we do have a Temple Garden. I would love a Slippery Boggle, honestly. That would be, like, really good. Uh, or a Scout, obviously. Either one is the same. They're very interchangeable. Okay. Um, probably should have done it in a different order, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Cool. The Spirit Mantle might be really helpful. So that protection from creatures is relevant because it gets around the... Uh, the blockers first of all but also they they can't hit it with the skyclave apparition so they're gonna have to find another way to deal with it if that's their solution um, alternatively though here I kind of want to get the core spirit dancer down just so we can keep drawing cards um, maybe that's wrong I I'm not sure okay they're really wanting to attack our graveyard which seems a bit odd I'll be honest it doesn't seem super relevant um Maybe that's incorrect. I don't know. I'm going to be a little greedy here. This may be super terrible for us and might lose us the game, but I'm going to try for the, the core spirit dancer play. Um, expecting that they might be able to get something here that would remove either one of these. Looks like giver of runes is going to be the, uh, the play here. That's fine. Giver is like fine. It's not great. Um, because we're going to be able to Spirit Mantle something here, I imagine. Uh, what do they get? Urza Saga, man. What a card. What a card. Relic. Man, they're really attacking the graveyard. Um, they're just trying to draw stuff, I imagine. Esper Sentinel's pretty good, not going to lie. That's pretty scary. Um, just because they do get to draw cards off of that. Another core spirit dancer, huh? <laughs> wow, how greedy do we want to be? <laughs> um, hmm. We can't, right? We're going to do this. This is going to hopefully protect our core spirit dancer here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to allow them to draw a card here as much as I don't want to. Uh, yes, always yes. Okay, basic land is good. Um, probably should have played in a different order, but that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. We draw another land. Okay. Uh, honestly, not terribly upset by that. Um, I don't know that we attack quite yet, though, I'll be honest. I'm going to say no, and I'm not sold on it. We're going to try it, though. Okay. What are you Aether Viling? Oh, nothing. They're just countering up. Okay, so... They're down to, I mean, they have one land and an Aether Vial right now. Aether Vial is at three though, which is terrifying. That's also terrible, but they are stuck on land. Um, Aether Vial gets around that, of course, but like, it's still not amazing for them. We're gonna Core Spirit Dancer, because why not? Um. Yep. They're going to draw some cards. Two, to be precise. But so are we. Haha. -ha. Cool. That's really good. Um, 
We're going to shock ourselves here and Griff Spoon up just so we can start getting more attacks in. Uh, I'll lose, yes. Okay. Nice. Um, this is a really interesting game. Um, yeah. Field 12 in the air? What you got? This could be Skyclave Apparition. Oh, it's Flicker Wisp. Oh, nice! <laughs> That's really good. So that gets around the pro creatures play, so they can block it. Um if they so choose. I mean Flicker Wisp just dies, but still. That was really good. That was pretty awesome. Oh, they get pro! Oh yeah, sure. Nice play. Like super, super sick play. I still am not sure what this deck is, but I'm really into it. I like it a lot. Um, uh, okay. Attach to... Hmm. Which one? I think it's probably just this one. I think we're just trying to be protection. Protection on the big one seems like the right play, you know what I mean? What a game, man. That was such a good play. That was really good. I really liked that. Uh, and now they've just got so many cards in hand. We really did a number to refill their hand. I mean, we did the same for ourselves, but they obviously have some pretty high value draws, so. Yep. Uh, the good news is we haven't invested as much into our Glade cover scout, though, so like, as annoying as this is, it's really not the end of the world. Um, but they can do it and then, you know, well, they chose not to. All right, cool. Nice. Triad armor, huh? Interesting. Well, we don't have a lot going for us at the moment. I'll be honest. Um, We can do this, and I will do this now, just to see. Um, I think I just prevent both. Sorry, guys. I'm, like, really thinking right now. <laughs> I'm going overboard on this, I know, but I'm really trying to think through everything. So what could they do? Flicker Wisp again? Which would be, like, really annoying. <laughs> um, but at this point, they have to do the Rancor play. Like, they have to bounce Rancor, not... Is it another Flicker Wisp? Uh, opponent. Stop having dumb cards. <laughs> So this is like just a really strange one. Okay. Oh, they left us the trampler. Cool. Uh, does this, I'm curious. So does this just prevent all the damage then? I'm not sure how that actually works. Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> cool. I mean, they're getting to a point where they're just going to be able to, like, kill us. That's the only trick. I mean, I guess they're pretty far away from that, but still. Again, just going to keep protecting the big one. All right. Here we go again. <laughs> At the very least, we didn't allow them to draw more cards that turn. That was, I think, very relevant. Um, it seems like they've been able to, to kind of rebuild every single time, and so I'm kind of glad we did it that way. Uh, we've been kind of greedy in the last few turns, but I'm glad we have double core spirit dancer because just drawing a lot of cards every turn seems great. Um, they're going to equip this up. I assume attack in, grant themselves a little bit of uh, life gain here. The, only, the thing that we should probably do is just keep up the path to exile they can block with one thing and then we should be good we'll see um yep 
another Rancor, huh? Okay. Um. We're just gonna move to attacks and attack in. Not worried about this Rancor. We've already got one. It doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, they could, I guess, try and do some tricksy stuff again, but whatever. Here's the hoping. <laughs> Did we just win? Did we do the thing? Oh, there's the Aether Vial. Good lord, they have so many Flicker Wisps. <laughs> this is insane. Um... Just gonna go ahead and bounce one of these. Uh, okay. These flicker wisps, man, they're annoying as crap. Uh, yeah, I will pay one. Okay. And yeah, I will pay one. Let's not allow them to draw. Um, they do get a basic land off of this, which isn't great, but. Alright, yes, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Now, I'm kind of wishing we did have the Rancor on there. Because um, that would have been enough to kill. <laughs> Alright, we did it! Oh, cool! Alright, awesome! <laughs> well, guys, let's chat about this. Alright, so I still am not 100% how, sure how I would classify the deck that we were just against, but it was very good. Uh, the tech that they had and all of the, the Aether Vial tricksiness was very, very important. Um, the They seemed really focused on Graveyard Hate, uh, which is interesting because it's not something that is like super relevant to our deck. It's not bad, obviously. They can kind of get some stuff with it, but it doesn't seem as relevant as it would be in like a dredge matchup or something. So a little surprised they kept some of that in. But regardless, we got it, guys. We did it. That was amazing. Uh, I really had a blast with this one. This was a very difficult match. Uh, obviously, a longer match is, uh, in comparison to some of our other ones as well. But we did it, guys. We're amazing. Uh, I'm really starting to love this Aura Hexproof deck even more. Uh, I know it's a hard one. I know it's a difficult one to to get your head wrapped around sometimes and like make sure that you're playing correctly uh, because you have to think about, okay, do I want more creatures or do I want to, you know, just power up onto the one? And it's so dependent on the matchup that you're against. It's, it's a very tricky thing to do. So um, I'm learning still, guys. I know I'm not playing perfectly, but I'm really enjoying it. And I hope that's showing for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment. We'll see you again very soon for some more gameplay videos. I'll, uh, yeah, have, have a good day. <laughs>